What's the deal, y'all? Now, today I'm going to give a recap of my seventh season overseas. I actually been done for about a month, month and a half, so I've been home chilling. Play in the basketball tournament, the TBT, um, for about a week. We lost in the second game to the team that won the championship, but whatever. I started my season out in Montenegro. Started the season, I think it was October, beginning of October, I wanna say I got out there and played for a team called SC Derby. And it was their first season playing in the top league of the Adriatic League. And they won a second league the year before. So they moved up to the top league and the expectations, the expectations of the team was to just stay in the league there was 13 teams and everybody picked the team to finish 13 or 12. So it was a lot going there. It was a big challenge going there. So that was part of the reason why I went there, man. I like challenges. I feel like I performed better under pressure. So yeah, I went out there and the team was very young. It was by far the youngest team that I played with. It was all 17, 18, 19, 20 year olds on the team. I was the oldest guy on the team in the second oldest guy was about 26 or 25 so by far the youngest team i played with and that was a challenge right there but we had a, a good coach a good young coach and we overperformed throughout the whole season we were fighting for a playoff spot the whole season and in that league in the adriatic league there are only six teams that make the playoffs which is not normal every other league that i've been to at least eight teams are in the playoffs so the Adriatic League is very tough, very physical, and every game is important. Just because what I mentioned, man, it's only six teams that make the playoffs, and we were the whole season fighting for a uh, six, seven spot the whole season up and down. And I actually ended up leaving the team in February, in the beginning of February, just because I had caught COVID and I got injured. So I was out for about a month, a month and a half, and I really didn't feel comfortable with uh, staying there, trying to get back into game shape while the team was playing, like I said, fighting for a, a playoff spot. So they ended up bringing in another guard. They wanted me to stay there and work out and uh, try to get back in shape. But I ended up deciding to just to go back home and, and resting. And after I got back home, I ended up going back to or going to Puerto Rico in uh, March, I want to say. And the season started in April. I was out there playing with the Guaynabo Mets and was out there for about three, three and a half months. And we did not uh, live up to the expectations that we were supposed to just because the team won the the semis last year and they actually played in the finals and ended up losing in the finals. So everybody expected the team to at least make the playoffs and make a run in the playoffs. But we didn't make the playoffs just because uh, the team was not put together the right way. I think it wasn't a lot of chemistry that, that you need to, to compete at, at that level. Man, Puerto Rico is a very good league, very talented players. Even though the team that, that I was on should have made the playoffs, we were probably one of the most talented teams, top two, top three on paper. We had very good players and we should have been in the playoffs, but we didn't for uh, whatever reason. We were very competitive. We played uh, every game competitive. We lost, I don't know how many games, about less than five points. So a little bad luck, but like I said, we didn't make the playoffs and it was definitely a disappointment. And I finished the season there at the end of June. And then I just got done, as I mentioned before, playing in the basketball tournament. If you don't know what the basketball tournament is, it's a, a tournament that showed on ESPN. Uh, 64 teams, NCAA tournament style, one game elimination, and the winner wins a million dollars. We lost in the second game. Another disappointment because we were on a, I was on a good team. Um, the, the Friday Beers Max is wearing a hoodie right now, and we lost to the, uh, the the team that won the championship actually last night. The Buffalo alumni team, a good team, so not too not too bad, but. We still should have won. And yeah, man, that was my season, uh, my seventh season, like I said. And I will be leaving again to start my eighth season overseas. 
on Sunday. So that was, that's in about five days. Uh, I'm going to make a video soon, probably tomorrow or the next day, about where I'm going, what team I'm playing for, what league, what country, all that stuff, if you don't know. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate y'all for tuning to this video. And I'm out.